Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we are going to be building this fire department right here. It's a pretty nifty little build. It's, um, it's actually completely square. It's made primarily using brick and sandstone. The banners are up here. I'm not actually going to do the banners as part of the build. I have them pre-made just because they take so long to make. I wouldn't be able to do it within the 15 minutes, but I will link in the description the uh, the tutorial for how to make those banners. Um, it's pretty straightforward. They're just alphabet banners. Uh, inside, we've got a little area in here for you to decorate. This would be like an office or maybe a sleeping area. And then this area is where the fire truck would go. So that's the garage. Um, and I'll let you guys decorate that on yourself, or we might do some of it if we have enough time. Uh, but I think I've done enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is lay out a square with bricks, just like this. And then you're going to go 14 blocks this way and lay out another one. 14 blocks this way, lay out another one, and 14 blocks this way, and lay out another one. Then you're going to build these pillars up to a total of 10 high, okay? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 10. And we're going to do that with all four of these pillars. And like so. And like so. There we go. So we have four pillars that are in a perfect square making up the corners of our build. They are 14 blocks apart. So the entire area needed for this uh, should be, let's see here, 18 by 18 altogether. Something like that anyway. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, walls, right? So I'm just going to go here to here, and we'll do walls 45 with brick. Um, don't place all these bricks if you're building this. Uh, watch the whole tutorial before you, <laughs> before you build this. Uh, okay, so once we have our brick walls in, now we can kind of start laying this out. So the first thing we're going to want to do is right here, counting one block from this pillar, go one, two, three, and put in a window. Okay? Then you're going to leave a space, and we're going to knock out this area right here, just like that. Okay? And then we're going to fill in that area, oh, upside down brick stairs like this, just to give us kind of an interesting little design. And then you're going to leave another space and go up to here right? Yeah, up to here. No, 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 I was right. Go up to here. So that's one, two, three, four, five blocks. And we're going to make that uh, five by, or six by five, because we want room in the middle right here for four, because a fire truck, I think, should be four blocks like this. So we want space on either side. Okay, pretty easy. Now, let's take some sandstone, and we're going to put upside down sandstone stairs all around the edge like this and we'll do the same on this side like so and we're just going to do that all the way around the building like that there we go and then we're going to go up to this top layer and we're going to do that as well so like so, and you're leaving basically a gap of two between these two cobblestone stairs. Notice that when I did the wall, the top line of the wall was one block below the top of the pillars, and keep in mind the pillars were ten blocks tall altogether. So we get something to go in like that, and that looks pretty good. Then we're going to take sandstone slabs and top off the pillars, just like this. Mm-hmm. And like so. That looks good. And then we're actually going to fill in this entire roof section with brick. Um, 
the roof kind of looks bad, but it's okay because you're really not going to see the roof anyway. You're looking at it from down here, okay? So it's okay for the roof to look a little bit derp. That's fine. Now, the next part we're going to do is this section right... Oh, that's right. I'm just going to break that door. The next section we're going to do is this garage area, okay? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take iron blocks... And actually, let me just throw down some lanterns so you guys can actually see. Okay, so we're going to take some iron blocks and we're going to bring them up like this. And we're basically just making a garage door. And then we'll bring this one up to there as well. Right here, we're going to bring brick pillars up like so, and we'll do the same in this corner, and right there, okay, and then, I think, was it this wall, yeah, yeah, this wall right here is all gonna be brick, this whole thing, okay, so we're just gonna take that, and... I believe it'll be stack 8 to make a wall like so. That looks right. I believe so. Uh, let's knock out a space. It doesn't really matter where. Let's just knock out a space right here for the door. And then we also want the floor of this to be clay. Because I think clay makes a really good cement texture. So that's what we're going with. And we'll put it right here as well. And then let's go ahead and bring these corner pillars up again. That should do the trick, I think. Yeah. Now, this level right here, so two blocks down, we're actually going to go and fill that in with clay as well for the ceiling in the garage. Okay. And then in here, we're going to replace the floor with oak, just like that. And we'll do the same up here as well, coming down three blocks altogether. So we'll go like so. All right. Now you're going to count in one, two, and then just go one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. And we can do the same here as well. And we're going to replace those with sea lanterns. You could also use glowstone, redstone lamps, whatever you want to use. Just some form of, some form of lighting. Because uh, otherwise it's super dark in here. And then we're going to do the same thing here as well. So we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Is that right? That doesn't look right. Hmm... I may have derped something. You know what? I think I did. I'm No, I swear these pillars were here. Hold on. We've got time. We're doing all right. We're only halfway through. Let's just take a quick peek at the garage and see how I managed to do that over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because they started... Oh, that still looks a little derp, but whatever. It's fine. And that's the failed attempt at this build. Anyway, so let's just come back in here and try this again. We had it like this, I think. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't matter all that much where you put the lights anyway, so whatever. Uh, just do whatever you think looks cool. You could probably come up with a much cooler light design than this anyway. At least if you're a little bit creative. I'm sure the option would be there. So. Next, we're going to grab a dark oak door and put that here to get into the garage. And then, on this side, we're going to count over three blocks. So, one, two, three. And we're going to knock out those three. Um, we'll put a upside down stair here. And an oak stair there. Um... Just kidding. Let's do clay. Because I want to make a little 
Uh, let's go here instead. I want to make a little sidewalk that leads to it. There we go. And then we'll put the dark oak right there. So you got a door, okay? Then, let's go one, two, and knock out a three-wide window here. One, two, and knock out a three-wide window there. Like so. And then this one, we're actually going to knock out a three-by-three three instead of just a two-by-three. Okay? Pretty easy so far. Now, on this side, how did I do this? Two, 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 yep. We're going to go with twos. So, it'll be two normal ones. And then a row of upside down stair walls, just like this. And then two normal ones. And then a row of upside down stair walls, which are two wide, like so. I hope you guys kind of see the concept here. And honestly, uh, this, as with all the designs in this series, this is really meant to be a starting point for you, not the final product. I want you guys to take these ideas and just kind of get some inspiration from them and then kind of make them your own. That's what I'd really like to see. Um, like, for example, I did something different uh, over there. I'm going to actually change this up a little bit right here and do this instead because I think it looks better. There we go. And then we'll do the same here as well. And there we go. So we got our stuff in. And now for the windows, I'm going to grab white stained glass because I think it looks good. As far as the vanilla glass textures go anyway. I really don't like the vanilla glass. That's one of the few textures in Minecraft that I really just can't. I just can't stand it. I try. I try to love it, and I just can't bring myself to do it. There we go. Okay. So, that is essentially the fire station. Let's go ahead and clear out some space here. And, oop, let's do, so it wants them in reverse. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. And then I just want to make sure I got this right. It's twos again, right? Yes. So the rule of twos. One, two. One, two, three, four. Space of two. And there we go. That gets us the fire department, essentially. Let's take this driveway out a bit. Uh, maybe to here? Sure. That looks pretty good. Okay. So, that is essentially the fire station done, but we do still have some time left, so I want to decorate a little bit. Let's do a little bit of landscaping first, and I think I'm just going to add in a hedge, like right there, and maybe an oak tree would look good. I'm just worried that it's going to end up being huge. Um, yeah, yeah, that was a terrible, that was a terrible plan. It needs to go away. It needs to go away, and it needs to go very quickly because huge time sucks. So I think I'll just probably bone meal the grass in this case. Um, just because anything beyond that is just going to be bad. So we'll do maybe something like this. And I'll say the grass ends right there. And then we'll bring this sidewalk out as well, and bone meal, and bone meal, so we get kind of our, our fire department shape along here, which I think, how's that look, yeah, that's pretty good, okay, and let's do a little bit of interior decorating in here as well. I'm not going to have time for a whole lot, and I'm certainly not going to have a, uh, time to build a fire truck. Although, if you look through the playlist for 15-minute builds, which is linked in the description, there should be a fire truck in there, actually. I did it quite a while ago, um, but I did have a pretty decent fire truck. At least, I think it was decent. So, you can take a look at that if you want help building a fire truck itself. It's in the playlist linked in the video description down below. Um, let's maybe put a 
like a, a little couch here. And another one like right here. Oh, that one didn't work. We'll do something like that. You know, so the firefighters can kind of hang out and just uh, have a good time and drink their coffee and all that kind of stuff. We'll maybe take... Uh, oh man, I'm almost out of time. All right, this is the last thing I'm, I'm going to do. Let's just grab some iron blocks and put them right there. It's a filing cabinet. And I'm going to call this one done at 14 minutes and 35 seconds. So we got our filing cabinet. We got a little office area. The garage over here where the truck would go. Ultimately, the fire truck, once you build it, go away. And from the outside, I think it looks quite good. So there you have it, guys. A fire department. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.